Get ready to change the world one blockchain at a time with George Levy, your single source of truth for blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. Hi, Blockchain Visionaries. I'm George Levy, and today I have the great opportunity to speak with Dr. Justin Goldston. Dr. Justin Goldston is Professor of Project and Supply Chain Management at Penn State University, and his research is focused on blending the practices of supply chain management, emerging technologies, and sustainability to create positive global change. Dr. Goldston, great speaking with you. Thanks. Thanks, George. And, and just please just call me, just call me Justin. We're about to have a great conversation today about, about some things I'm very passionate about. Excellent. Thank you very much, Justin. And uh, I'm very excited to speak with you. You actually uh, have been doing some very visionary work in the space. Uh, what I love about your angle is that you are a specialist in supply chain management, but you've ventured beyond and you've started incorporating blockchain into the whole supply chain, which I think is one of the most exciting areas for blockchain. Um, and I want to ask you, I want to begin this whole conversation by asking you, why did you get involved in blockchain in the first place? How did that happen? So it's it, it was actually it was actually a blending of those two disciplines where I was teaching in the, in the executive MBA program a few years ago and and one of the uh, he was actually he was actually a director um, of, of logistics and he he sent me a message and said Dr. Golston you know I seen this article about how blockchain is going to is going to you know disrupt the supply chain industry you know and and my research in answering his question led me to some postdoc research at Cornell. And that resulted in the five TEDx talks on, on, on blockchain where I, talk, I moved away from the cryptocurrencies that everyone was, was relating it to and they do today, right? To talk about the use cases in supply chain management, in healthcare, and so many other different industries, and, and and some of those things are actually happening today. And I did that in 2019. So that's something I'm very I'm very ha happy about and passionate about. And I'm, I'm, it's actually great to speak to you about it. Uh, I also fell in love with the whole supply chain angle. Actually, the, per the way that I became exposed to it was uh, Frank Yanas, who's now at the Food and Drug Administration, who used to be the VP at Food Safety at Walmart. And uh, when, I, when I learned about how he's actually been able to, to trace the, the provenance of, say, some mangoes from what used to take seven days down to 2.5 seconds, I was like, wow, this is just mind blowing. Mm -hmm. But, but it's great to speak with you because you actually, you live day to day this in your practice. Um, one of the things that I wanted to discuss with you, which to me was actually one of the most impactful things, having lived through the coronavirus lockdowns, was uh, th that the Department of Homeland Security actually named blockchain managers as essential critical infrastructure workers. To me, that was like in a role that didn't exist prior to blockchain, all of a sudden it becomes essential critical infrastructure. What's your take on, uh, on the DHS actually making that announcement? Yeah, so so I feel that I feel that you know a lot of people a lot of people heard about supply chain management you know during during the pandemic you know you couldn't turn on TV without hearing supply chain management oh toilet paper shortage what's going on exactly. with supply chains and things yeah. like that right it became real but, but my big work my worry during the pandemic was the cybersecurity concerns you know, because the whole world was exposed, mm -hmm. you know, during that time. And, and yes, that was one big thing in that, you know, those blockchain managers, you know, those blockchain managers were very important to the infrastructure, not just to the United States, of the entire world. Just the whole world hinges on the those supply world. chains. Basically, everything falls apart. Yeah, no, but so, that's a so the infrastructure and, 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 you know, blockchain technology, technology itself runs supply chains. You know, and, and, and I always I always tell my students, you know, I say Amazon saved the world during a pandemic, mm -hmm. you know, and in the U.S. It was kind of one of the only shows in town, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 and, you know, if you look at if you pull back the onion, you know, all that most of that data is built is, is on the blockchain from with Amazon, you know. So so that's one important thing. And I think you're going to once we continue to move away from crypto and understand the actual technology itself you're going to get more adoption in blockchain. And we're, we, are, we are seeing it now, but it's baby steps. 
Well, one thing you bring up a really, really good point because a lot of people, and I've had this run of people all the time, they think, well, Bitcoin is blockchain. It's not. There's Bitcoin's one application of blockchain. There's so much more you can do with blockchain. But while we're on the topic, because you said crypto and you said going into blockchain. So let's delve back for a second and go into Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been getting a lot of beating around like the environmental impact that Bitcoin mining, it's consuming so much electricity. Do you have any thoughts on that? So, so sustainability is is one is is a big passion of mine it's one thing i talk a lot about and and i think that and the way that i explain it to people that are in that are in this space that are in the crypto space that are in the blockchain space i say look at ethereum you know ethereum ethereum has recognized the environmental impact the environmental issue to mining so they're going to approve to a to a proof of stake model you know, and I think that although we're not going, although in my opinion, you're not going to go to a proof of stake model with Bitcoin, there are some organizations that are looking for a more sustainable, mm-hmm. a more sustainable, you know, mining approach. You know, so I think that we're, we're making we're making steps to make to make mining more more sustainable. But, you know, yes, yes, the environmental impacts is 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 pretty, pretty bad from a mine perspective. And that's one thing that actually one student shared with me. One student shared with me with with the emergence of non fungible tokens with NFTs. Sure. To mint one NFT is the equivalent of the emissions of a one hour flight. Whoa. I to mean, me, that was mind blowing. And that's I was, a, I was that's bragging a about stat. all the art that I was collecting, right? No, that's like, a very big hmm. stat. <laughs> that's a big, big, deep stat. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me ask you a question while we're on the topic. Um, one thing that's interesting, because you mentioned a lot of things. You said, okay, so we've, we're, we're in a proof of work. We're going to proof of stake. So, and that's forward looking. So let me ask you a question now, because you're so deeply involved in this. Where do you see this whole blockchain space seeing? Like, what areas do you see? Where's blockchain developing? I think you're going to see, you're going, so you're seeing a lot of, you're seeing a lot of adoption within, within the, fi- within the financial space with the, with the decentralized finance. Um, one organization, Nikala is actually, is actually doing a hybrid finance model with current, you know, so we're seeing a lot of developments we've seen in while in, in the U S in Wyoming. Um, they actually passed a bill to, to allow decentralized autonomous organizations to register as LLCs mm. and, and Janet Yellen, Janet Janet Yellen even said she she's even championing this to say it's really, like, really strange. I've always thought of her. She's like the enemy of Bitcoin. And like yes. all of a sudden now she's championing this. Interesting. <laughs> yes. But she's saying, you know, the more people that enter into this DAO, you know, the more the more reduction of risk and liability that those founders of organizations have. So so I think that, you know, Wyoming is just the beginning. And I think that we're, blockchain is changing the space. Blockchain is changing the way we're going to do business, in my opinion. And and I think that I think that I do a lot of I do a lot of presentations on supply chain management. And the way I explain it is, it's, this is all systems thinking. You know, the integration of artificial intelligence, mm-hmm. of blockchain, of sustainability, of supply chain management, all working together. It's all interconnected. It's all systems thinking. So where is it going? It's going to change the world. It's going to change the world. I like that viewpoint. I like that viewpoint. And what I love about your take is that your goal is to create positive change. You're basically making the world a better place. Mm-hmm. Very, yeah, very so- good angle. I can, I can, I can see that all putting it. So let me ask you a question, uh, Justin, uh, how for, for viewers that are actually watching this, who actually want to learn more about you, where can they find you online? How can they follow you on social media? So they, you can follow, you can follow me on LinkedIn. Um, you can also go to my website, justingolston.com. There are a number of, of international presentations where I speak about blockchain, supply chain management, artificial intelligence. And we're actually having it. We actually have a project where we actually want we, the very first pitch competition we participated in. Um, we won with the, with the government blockchain association. So mm-hmm. we have a plot, a project called SITEC where, where, we're reinventing higher education the Web three way, so we are creating we're creating a space we're creating we're creating a platform where students can collab from around the world can collaborate from different disciplines from computer science from supply chain from business from education to create solutions and to benefit from it, and we're th- we're going to create the Facebook effect interesting using blockchain. That's actually a very visionary approach to that. Well. 
Justin, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I, I am going to definitely follow. I love the fact all the TEDx talks I'd seen you before. I was actually a little bit, uh, I was really excited about doing this talk because I've seen your work with TEDx and, uh, and you're doing some fantastic work. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Justin, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.